Cheers everyone. <laughs> Happy morning. Happy Friday. Welcome to my weekend vlog. So good morning everyone. I've got my coffee ready. We've not long been up. Um, it is half past Oh, it's nearly, it's 25 past nine and that sounds like I'm really lazy, <laughs> but we have been up and got on with things. So, so far today we've, you know, obviously got, you know, washed teeth, dressed, the rest of it. Um, made the bed, got some washing on, got the dishwasher on. I've got all my plants soaking in the sink at the moment. I had to give them a really good water, uh, fed the dogs, you know, all, all this stuff that you do first thing in the morning. Um, anyway, let me introduce myself if you are new around here and this is the first time that you've uh, clicked on my channel. So my name is Leslie Ann Sparkle, Leslie Ann Sparkle because I like anything and everything that glitters and shines. Um, my channel is mostly lifestyle so I share everything about my life and that includes shopping hauls, uh, crafting, gardening, my dogs. Uh, family, cooking, uh, did I say crafting? Did I say crafting? Reviews, unboxings, um, a bit of plus size fashion, a little bit of mature beauty, um, you know, everything that is really part of a lifestyle, my lifestyle. So, if you are new to my channel, I'd absolutely love it if you would stick around and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up because that helps my channel and every other YouTuber's channel out immensely. Um, it does let YouTube know that you're enjoying um, you know the content and so it kind of pushes it out there a little bit more that also goes for uh, comments so if we interact in the comments that also helps and if you watch literally just 30 seconds of an ad i know they can be annoying but that is how we may make the tiniest tiniest little bit of money from youtube is by having ads on our channel but if you watch i'm sure it's 30 seconds then um that goes some way to, you know, helping us get a little bit of revenue there. So, I've done all the um, declaration-y type of bits, I suppose. Um, welcome back to all my lovely friends on here, my lovely subscribers, everyone that we all chit-chat together in the comments, and you all chit-chat together, and we've all become really great friends. Anyway, today's video is going to be a weekend vlog. We're going to be very, very busy for the next three weeks. We are going to get some dogs today going over. If you don't know, of course, I should explain myself that we do have a doggy hotel um, for dogs. That sort of dog, the barking dogs, yeah. I realised what I said then and that was a bit of a faux pas, wasn't it? Um, yes, yeah, so we have, We, I mean, we've been looking after dogs as in uh, when their humans go on holiday, we look after them. We've been doing that for, oh, I don't know, 12 years, we something like that. We started at Copner Road. Yeah, 12 uh, years. We moved to Copner Road in 2010. Yeah. So we've been 2010, 2011. Yeah. So how many yeah, years ago is that then? Sorry? How many? 12 years? 12 years. Yeah, 12, yeah, so 12 years we've been doing it. Um, you know, we've had loads of various different breeds of dogs come through. Um, we still have a lot of them from when they were little pups. Uh, sadly, some of them have actually passed now. Um, but a lot of the families have got new puppies, you know, and um, and it's all very much word of mouth. A lot of their children have grown up and got their own houses and got their own dogs. Um, but yeah, so we look after dogs. So um, we're going this morning to pick up some of our regular dogs. They're all from one family. Um, three little dash hounds and Lily Longlegs. I don't really know what Lily Longlegs is. She, I think, <laughs> you'll, you'll understand when you see her. She's all scruffy, beautifully scruffy and long legs and sandy colour. Um, I think she might be a little bit of a mix. 
um, but we call her Lily Longlegs. So we're going over to get them today. Like we've got them for, I think, almost three weeks, something like that. So it's going to be a very, very busy time um, because we have two of our own dogs as well. Um, they have their own little Instagram page if you want to go over and look at them. It's Elsie and Teddy, so A N D Teddy on Instagram. Uh, you'll find the link down below anyway. So let's get this vlog started, shall we? I will come back when we've got the sausage dogs and Lily Longlegs. See you in, well, it's going to be a few hours for us. A blink of an eye for you. So blink, and here we are. Now, darling, let's put that in the sink. All right. So let's introduce the babies. Well, we all know Elsie Bousy. Yes, we do. And who have we got down here? <laughs> hello. So, hello. So this is Willow. This is Lily Longlegs, and you'll see why, because she's so tiny, but she's got these big long legs. And then we've got, sit, sit, sit. And we've got Maisie, look at Maisie, look how tiny. All right, Willow, I've got you already, let me show Maisie. Oh, you stop. And her little legs. <laughs> oh, and then we've got Bentley. Bentley, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then Ted, where's Teddy? Oh, he's down the garden. I'll show you something about the garden, actually. It's, you know, it was really nice and tidy, wasn't it? Like, two weeks ago. It's chaos again. Um, I'll show you why. Oh, stand that up a bit. Okay, so, if you remember, uh, we had, like, a square... I don't want to say square arch, because an arch isn't, a square isn't an arch, is it? But anyway, a square thingy there, um, with the honeysuckle over. So, uh, we've been sorting out a few things. So we've had new fence and put at the back. I'm just going to be careful while I'm walking. I need to poop scoop yet again. So we've had new fencing put at the back of the house. And um, it goes all the way, all the way around, all the way down around there, and in front of the garage door, uh, because people, like, over there, over there, can't say which ones, but they used to dump rubbish outside of our garage door, because the fence, it was there at the back, it used to cut across here to like the corner of the garage um, for access to the garage with your car, but we don't use it. So they dump all their rubbish. This is only a tiny bit left of what is there. There were washing machines, there was you name it, it was there. Um, I've complained, been to the council. The council said because it's on our property, we have to pay to have it removed, and we've done that, and it keeps happening. So we decided we'd have the fence put all the way along so they can't dump anything out there now because if they do that, they'll be putting it on the access road. And they can't do that. So we have cleared lots. We've... Lily, will you get back in? Lily, come on, back in, you. So we've cleared loads. Um, it's still a work in pro progress. As you can see, there's a lot of debris here now. Um, Lily, come on, back. So anyway, in a short, we need to get rid of all of that. So we're starting to do that. Um, come on, you. She can't get out. It's all um, seven-foot fences there. Come on. What's this, Lily? What's this? You stop. You're not going either. Lily, come on back this way now. Come on, walk quickly in. In. Good girl. Oh, ouch. And then I have my greenhouse here. So we've moved the greenhouse just down there for a bit, just so that we can get in and out of here. We've put this here just to basically... No. No. Bentley, back. Bentley. Cut down the honeysuckle, but we have still got some of it growing here. So we've left this. So we're going to train this to grow up kind of around the tree, I think. 
um, so that eventually this stop the dogs going through can all be taken down. My greenhouse is going to go down there at the back there. So obviously it's a bit chaotic. Chris, no, you're not going in there, um, thingy. Chris, I need to go and get Chris. Tell him to put something else there. I think. Um, this trough that was over there that had beans and that growing in that got eaten by the slugs and snails. Um, that's also going to go around the back so I can grow things in that. So everything here is a work in progress and in a right old mess again. Right, I'm going to go and get Chris. He needs to sort this out. Pooper scoop for the third time today. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, Chris has made us a coffee, so we're getting in and have a coffee. Everything, it, it just seems like everything's a bit of a mess again because of our weather. It's been so windy, it's been ridiculous. Some strawberries over there, strawberry plants, but some of them, I think, are overripe. Um, like that one I take for the birds, that one I'll take off. That's kind of funny. Ooh. Birds. There's a lot of flowers on this tomato plant. And I've got tomatoes growing on that one now. The sunflowers are starting to flower, look. It's starting to open up and to grow. Um, these two over here are at this stage. So I've got work to do in the garden, oh, never ending, but meanwhile I've got the dogs to look after first. Come on then, come on kids. Right, coffee time, teddy bear, here's you my baby, hello. Come on then. I've had to pick the toys up as well guys because Bentley will destroy and chew every single toy. So they've all been picked up. Good morning. <laughs> oh, that's more than I get. <laughs> you know we're pretty tired <laughs> at the moment so not doing a lot if we do anything it's kind of individually anyway um so yeah we're just sort of making the most of looking after the dogs taking them out for their walks um luke's here with us as well so 
it's quite nice. We've got like two dogs per person, so that's fine. Um, but we don't take them out to the evening because it's obviously far too hot. Um, and it's so, excuse me, Maisie, it's so dangerous to walk dogs when it's really hot, especially on the ground, etc. Hold on, let me pick Maisie up. was the voice of authority. <laughs> Don't know how long it's gonna last. So yeah, so when we've got dogs with us, um, oh gosh, this is annoying. When we've got dogs with us, our life is very much housebound. Um, it's the, the decision that we've made. I mean, the owners always say, oh no, they're fine, you can leave them for a few hours. And, um, but you know, one of them could like jump off the sofa or something and fall and hurt themselves or, they can have a little scrap, you know? So we stay here with them all the time. And then if we need to go anywhere, like an appointment or something, or just pop to the shops, we just go um, one at a time. Yeah. I tend to have an online, an online grocery shop delivered while, you know, when dogs are here as well. It's just about compromise, you know? Yeah, there's not a lot to say in this video other than me introducing you to these, because if you're new to my channel, you wouldn't have seen these four before. I've been naughty. Oh, you've got your legs on the table. Love you. Isn't it a good job I love you? <laughs> Bentley, why are your front legs on the table? Is it because you've got your sister's legs on the table? <laughs> Step on, you're not getting up there, no. No. Suddenly the back legs started to appear on the table, but no. Oh, this is annoying, I need mean, to tighten this up again. Oops, sorry, babe. So your mummy and daddy and Bentley's just got married, didn't they? Yes, they have. They just got married. Stay there, Teddy. Stay, stay, stay. Can I put you on this chair? I'll put you on the chair. Teddy, stay. It's fine. Bring your neck in here. I thought I should show you this. I had some fruit that needed juicing up. So in here there are strawberries, raspberries, uh, blueberries, nectarines and plums that really needed to be used up now. So I chopped them and put them into a saucepan. I've also put in um, the juice of a whole lemon, the juice of a whole lime. I've got a couple of bananas over there that need using. Um, but I'm gonna whip up a banana cake today with those two. And then I've got this fruit here. That's fine to just eat as it is. So I'm gonna stew this up. And um, I thought this would be nice for like pudding tonight. I've got some strawberry ice cream in the freezer. So I thought we'll have strawberry ice cream with um, this nice stewed fresh fruit. I've just popped on the top just two uh, dessert spoonfuls, yeah, dessert spoonfuls of brown sugar. And uh, just going to get and stew it down now. I 
don't think I said that there's actually red grapes and green grapes in here as well. So.